Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So before we begin, if you like the content on this channel, then go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos. Now in this video, I will be using the indicator called double exponential moving average or DEMA for short to create a strategy to determine when to buy and sell stock. First, let me say it is extremely hard to try and predict the stock market. Even people with a good understanding of statistics and probabilities have a hard time doing this. So with that being said, the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice. So be sure to invest and use this strategy at your own discretion. Now, currently, I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com, and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So that means that you do not have to install Python onto your computer. All you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So let's go ahead and get started writing this code. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on File and then click on New Notebook, where a new tab open up for you and then a new cell will open up for you. And in this cell, I'm going to put a description about the program and comments. That way I can just go back and read the description and know what the program is about. So here I'm going to put this program uses the double exponential moving average, or again, demo for short, to determine when to buy and sell stock. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button here in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout this program. So I'm going to import pandas as pd. I'm going to import numpy as np. I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then I'm going to give the plot a style so I'm going to type plt.style.use and I'm going to use the 538 style okay so let's go ahead and run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and see if we get any error messages so everything looks good let's go ahead and create a new cell and in this cell I want to load the stock data so I'm going to use Google's library for this so from google.colab I'm going to import files and then I'm going to upload the file so just type files.upload and then run the cell and then click on choose files and I'm going to choose this amazon underscore stock underscore data dot csv file to upload and this data set contains the stock data for amazon from basically March 4th, 2019 to August 14th, 2020. So let's go ahead and create a new cell and let's store the data into a data frame. So I'm going to create a variable called DF, which will be short for data frame. And I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore CSV. And then I'm going to input the name of the file that we just uploaded. So that's Amazon underscore stock underscore data dot CSV. I'm going to copy it and paste it here using control V. And of course, I, I copied it using control C after highlighting it. Next, I'm going to set the date as the index. So just set df equal to df dot set underscore index and then input pd dot date time index and then input the date, so that's df date dot values. And then I want to show the data, so just type df here, and let's run this cell. Okay, now we can see the data, at least some of it. So we can see the column called date, the column called open, which contains the open price, and of course date contains the date. Um, we have the high price column, we have the low price column, the close price column, the adjusted close price column, and the volume. And we can see that the data is indeed from March 4th, 2019 to August 14th, 2020. 
and here we can see we have 368 rows of data and of course the seven columns that I mentioned a little bit earlier okay so next let's go ahead and create a new cell and in this cell I want to visually show the close price so just type DF and then close dot plot and we're going to give our plot a figure size so type fig size and set it equal to 12.2 by 6.4 and let's go ahead and give the plot a title so just type guilty dot title and I'm going to call this close price for Amazon and I'm going to give the X axis and the Y axis a label so let's start with the Y axis so just type plt dot Y label I'm going to call it US USD price and I always like to put this little dollar sign and for the X axis the label will be date okay and then I want to show the data so just type plt dot show and let's run this okay and now we can see the close price of Amazon for this time period and we can see that it it was rising or it is rising right here for this time period so that's between March 2020 and of course August August 14th 2020 right that's where the data the data ends August 14th 2020 okay so let's go ahead and create a new cell and in this cell I want to create a function to calculate the double exponential moving average demo so I'm gonna call this function demo and it's going to take in a data set and it's going to take in some time period and it's going to take in some column name okay now within this function I want to calculate the exponential exponential moving average for some time period so I'm going to create a variable called EMA, which will be short for exponential moving average. And I'm going to set it equal to our data column dot EWM. Next, I'm going to set the span equal to the time period. And set adjust equal to false. And then I'm going to get the mean. Okay. Now, with this information, I can calculate the demo. So I'm going to create a variable called demo and set it equal to 2 times EMA minus the, minus the exponential moving average of the exponential moving average for the same time period. So that's EMA dot EWM span equal to time underscore period time underscore period adjust equal false dot mean okay and then last but not least I'm going to return the demo so let's go ahead and run this cell and let's create a new cell now in this cell I want to store the short-term demo, which will be a 20-day period, and the long-term demo, which will be a 50-day period, into the data set. And I'm doing this for the strategy that I plan on using, so let me go ahead and talk a little bit about the strategy. So the strategy is to buy when the short-term demo crosses above the long-term demo and to sell when the short-term demo crosses below the long-term demo. Okay? 
So let's go ahead and create these two new columns to store the short term and the long term demos. All right, so I'm going to call the short term demo demo underscore short. And I'm going to set it equal to our function that was created earlier. So that's demo. And demo takes in a data set. It takes in a time period. Since this is the short term, I'm going to use a 20 day time period. So I'm inputting 20 here. And then I'm going to be using the close price column. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and copy using control C and then come down here and paste using control V and just change a few things. So now I'm going to change the column name here to be demo underscore long. And again, I want it to be the long term, which will be a 50 day period. So I'm going to input 50 here and let's go ahead and run this cell. And that should have created the new columns for us. All right, so next let's go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I want to plot the chart. So I'm going to create a list of columns to keep. So let's call this column underscore list and set it equal to demo, demo underscore short demo underscore long and close. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to where we created this chart here. I'm going to highlight all of this and copy it using control C and then come back down here and paste it using control V. And then instead of close here, I'm just going to input the column underscore list and let's run this. Okay, so now we can see the the plot with the new columns. So we can see the short term demo in blue, the long term demo in this orangish reddish color, and then the close price and the yellowish color. So again, the short term demo is in blue, the long term demo is in this reddish orangish color or reddish orangish color, and then the close price is in yellow. Now the strategy again is to buy the stock when the short term crosses above the long term demo. So if I look here, it looks like the short term demo crosses above the long term demo. So here would be a good time to buy according to the strategy. And then we would sell when the short term demo crosses below the long term demo. So it looks like that's here. And it appears that if we had did that for these two points on the chart, then we would have made some money. So let's let's test this. Let's let's check it. I mean, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I want to create a function to buy and sell the stock. So this is essentially the trading strategy. All right, so let's call this function demo underscore strategy. And it's gonna take in some data. And then I want to create a buy list to store the price at which to buy. So I'm going to set buy list equal to an empty list. And then I'm going to create a sell list to store the price at which to sell. And then I'm going to create a flag that is going to help me determine when the indicators cross. So I'm going to set it equal to false for now. And then I want to loop through the data. So for I and range 0 to the length of our data set, I want to check if the short term demo crosses above the long term demo. So that's if data demo demo underscore short at position I, if it's greater than data demo long at position I, and the flag is equal to false then I want to buy. So I'm going to append to my buy list, buy list.append, the 
close price. So data close at position I. All right, and then I'm going to append to my cell list NP NAN. Okay, so it doesn't get a value. And then I'm going to set the flag equal to true. Okay. So next, I want to check to see if the short-term demo goes below or crosses below the long-term demo. So I'm just going to basically do almost the same thing. So I'm going to highlight this, copy it using Control C, and it come down here and paste it using Control V. And I'm going to change this if to LF. I'm going to change this inequality to less than. All right, and I'm going to change the flag to true. And I'm going to change the flag here that is equal to true to false. And now I'm going to append to the sell list the closing price because this right here tells us to sell, right? Whenever the short term demo crosses below the long term demo, that tells us to sell. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to append NP NAN to our buy list. Okay, next. We're going to say else if those two conditions were not met, then both the buy list and the sell list will be NP NAN. So we're going to append the NP NAN values to both of the lists. So buy list dot append NP NAN and sell list dot append NP NAN. Okay. Next, I want to store the buy and sell signals or lists into the data set. So I'm going to create two new columns here. One column will be called buy, and I'm going to set that equal to the buy list. So that's buy underscore list. And the other column will be called sell. And I'm going to set that equal to the sell list. OK, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, so there are some issues. Let's see what's going on here. So what I'm doing here is I'm making an assignment and not a comparison, so I need two equal signs. So let's run this now. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new cell. And let's run the strategy to get the buy and sell signals. So we just type demo underscore strategy and then input the data frame df and let's run this okay so no errors let's go ahead and create a new cell and let's visually show the stock buy and sell signals so i'm going to create and plot the graph so just type plt dot dot figure and then give the figure a figure size. So I'm gonna set the figure size equal to 12.2 by 4.5 and that's 12.2 inches in the width and 4.5 inches in the height. All right, and let's go ahead and plot the, the buy and sell signals. So just type plt dot scatter df dot index and then the column buy and let's give it a color so I'm gonna make the color green and let's give it a label so I'm gonna set the label equal to buy signal and I'm gonna give it a marker so the marker will be this this up character and the alpha will be equal to one OK, so I'm going to basically do almost the same thing for the cell signal. So I'm just going to highlight this line, copy using control C and then paste it using control V and then change the column here to cell, change the color from green to red, change the label from buy signal to cell signal and change the marker from the up character to the downward character or V. OK. Next, I want to plot the close price, the short demo, and the long, the long term demo. So just type plt dot plot, and then I'm going to plot df close, 
and I'm gonna give it a label. So the label will be close price. And I'm gonna give it an alpha value equal to 0 0.35. And I'm just gonna highlight this and copy using control C and then paste it about two more times. Okay, and I'm gonna make a few changes. So instead of close price here, I'm gonna get the demo short column and I'm gonna call this demo underscore short. Okay, everything else looks good. And I'm gonna change this column here to demo underscore long and change the column to demo underscore long. Okay, so almost done here. Next, I'm going to rotate the dates. So just type plt.xtix and set rotation equal to 45. And then I want to give the plot a title. So type plt.title. So I'm gonna call this close price buy and sell signals. And I'm gonna give the X axis a, a label. So just type plt.x label. And I'm gonna call it date. And let's go ahead and give it a font size as well. So I'm gonna set the font size equal to 18. I'm gonna do basically the same thing for the Y axis. So type plt.y label and call it close price with the nice dollar sign and give it a font size equal to 18 and then I'm going to give this plot a legend so type plt dot legend and put it in the upper left location so set lock equal to upper left and then show the plot so just type plt dot show and let's run this okay and so now we can clearly see when to buy and sell this Amazon stock using this strategy. So we can see that we would buy here and sell here. So we would have profited here. We would have bought here and sold here. I'm not really sure if we would have profited here. It looks like we would have almost been even. Maybe maybe we would have lost some, some money here. All right, next we would have bought here and sold up here. So we would have made some profit there and then we would have bought here and sold here and definitely made a huge profit okay so it looks like the strategy does well for this data set but remember that this indicator is not perfect and the strategy doesn't guarantee success a lot more testing is needed to be done before using this strategy and you may want to use other indicators with this strategy for more information on when to buy and sell the stock so thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to give a special thanks to everyone supporting this channel on patreon.com. If you want to support this channel on patreon.com, I will leave a link in the description below. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next video.